A new program at Florida International University is taking on climate change in a big way. Armed with millions of dollars in federal funding, it aims to determine the impact sea level rise and saltwater intrusion is having on our infrastructure and our drinking water. CBS News Miami's Trish Christakis was in Hollywood Beach today. She checked out the new monitoring system along the coastline. Rainy day flooding in South Florida is nothing new, and neither is sea level rise. Climate change and global warming and sea level rise is not a someday thing in South Florida. It's a right now thing, and so our cities are really having to make investments. Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz provided $9 million to Florida International University to start the process of creating 160 saltwater intrusion monitors up and down the South Florida coastline. We've got this problem with saltwater rising and not enough fresh water from the west pushing back. So the consequence of that is that salt water is intruding into our land laterally as, as well as our drinking water. If too much salt water gets into the Biscayne Aquifer, we are cut off from our drinking supply. This project they're setting up will now monitor how much salt water from the ocean is getting underneath the city's infrastructure, something that was referenced as a concern in the months after the Surfside collapse. And we learned a horrible lesson way back when a building collapsed. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to be more the norm of salt water getting in, and so we have to understand how fast that's happening, why it's happening, and where it's happening so that we can make sure we adjust how we build buildings and other infrastructure to basically be able to deal with the, the, the high corrosion of salt water. Currently, there is no way to know the level of saltwater intrusion, so this new system will give real-time data in nearshore areas like Brickell and Hollandale. Testing stations will span across coasts of Broward, Palm Beach, and Miami-Dade counties. In Hollywood, Trish Krasakis, CBS News, Miami.